Hello, science people. I just want to have a quick discussion about the difference between a hypothesis and a theory. Um, can I help you? Science is the process of answering how and why things happen. To answer questions in science, we use the scientific method. The scientific method starts with an observation. You observe something, and then you form a question. In order to do good science, we have to be able to test things. To make testing easier on us, we form what's called a hypothesis. It is much harder to test a question, but it is easy to test a statement. So our hypothesis is always in the form of a statement. I got this. Let me give a real world example we could all relate to. All right, so I go up to my locker and my biology textbook's missing. Here's my observation. My question is, who the heck took my biology textbook? Now, who the heck took my biology textbook is a pretty hard question to test. So instead, I come up with a hypothesis. My hypothesis is a statement. My hypothesis is, Ernest took my textbook. It's an educated guess. Why? Because Ernest has been known to take textbooks. So my hypothesis, Ernest took my textbook. How do I test this? I go up to Ernest and I see if he's got it. If he's got it, my hypothesis has gained support. If he doesn't have it, then I gotta start all over again. Can I continue? Sure, go ahead. A theory is different than a hypothesis. Yeah, it is. A good hypothesis graduates to become a theory. No, that's not how it works at all. All right, smart guy, what's a theory? A theory is a scientific explanation as to how or why something happens. No matter how many times we've tested it, we haven't been able to find contradictory evidence or to prove it wrong. In most cases in science, a theory is as high as you can get. That's why it drives me crazy when people say, oh, that's just a theory. Yeah, and to those people I'd say, gravity's just a theory. Would you jump off a building? So our theories in science mean that they've been tested repeatedly and have not been proven wrong. There's been no contradictory evidence. I can test the theory of gravity all day long. All I have to do is keep throwing this ball up and down. And if for one moment it doesn't come back down, then we have to adjust our theory of gravity. That's the great thing about science is nothing's written in stone. If there's ever contradictory evidence or there's evidence that goes against a theory, then we have to work on it. But the reason that theories are so strong is because no matter how many times we've tested it, we've never found contradictory evidence. So right now, gravity works because we have not figured out or found any contradictory evidence.